Hey everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to add the weather API so that Vector can answer your current location or area uh, with the current weather conditions. So let's just try it right now without the uh, weather API set up. Hey Vector, what's the weather? Hey Vector. Hey Vector, what's the weather? So as you can see, it's answering with incorrect information, 120 degrees Celsius and snowing. Uh, 120 degrees Celsius uh, is like 250 degrees. <laughs> so yeah, that information is not correct. So the first thing that you have to do is go into the bot settings. As long as you've connected your vector before, it should have the serial number here for the, ve the vector that you have connected. And what you have to do is go into the set location. And here you're going to put in the city and state that you live in or the area that you live in in the world. So I've already done that. I've put my location, Denver, Colorado. Uh, obviously it's uh, not giving correct information for the weather in Denver, Colorado. So what we need to do now is go back and then go to our server settings. So you click that, then we're going to click the weather option. That's going to bring up the weather API setup. We're going to click on the little drop down and click on the option for the open weather map, which is a free service. Then it's going to be asking for our weather API key. So now we just have to go up to another browser and go to openweathermap.org. And then we're going to go over here to the API and click that. Then we're going to scroll down slightly and go to this option here, the current weather data. Then we're going to go to the subscribe button and scroll down from there and you'll see this free option and where you can click get API. Click that. And I'm already signed in, but this will bring up um, a free sign up where you just put in your username, email, and a password. It's really easy. Then from there, you're going to go to here, the API keys. And then it will give you options for API keys. Um, you can just copy and paste the first API key that you've got here. So we're just going to double click that, copy. And then we're going to go back up to the WirePod server, back to that API key, enter or paste that API key and press the save. It should say changes successfully applied. And now when we go and ask Vector, hey Vector, what's the weather? And there we go answering the correct temperature and the correct conditions for the location that we have selected. So perfect, that's how you get your weather API set up and your vector answering the weather conditions for your location.